Hello friends, it's me, Miss Brooke, back for week two of our November Celebrate Wonder series. This whole month, we're talking about the word blessing. Do you remember what a blessing is? That's right, a blessing is all the things that God provides. And God provides many good things for each and every one of us. And it's good to give thanks to God for the many blessings we have in our life. A lot of times in the month of November, as we approach the holiday of Thanksgiving, we are reminded and more conscious each day about giving thanks for the simple things, the little things, the big things, the people, the places in our life. But God wants us to be thankful each and every day for the many blessings God gives, no matter the season. Now we also have a special memory verse going along with the word blessing this month. Do you remember it? We learned some motions last week. Let's do those again. Our memory verse is, May the Lord bless you and keep you. From the book of Numbers, chapter 6, verse 24. For the word Lord, may the Lord bless you. Let's do that again. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Numbers, chapter 6 verse 24. Y'all are doing such a great job of getting God's word deep into your heart by remembering it each week and learning the motions that go with it. Today we pick up on our story of Isaac's family who was the son of Abraham and Sarah. Isaac married Rebekah and they grew up and had babies of their own, twin boys named Esau and Jacob. Now Esau was the oldest and the birthright, or the head of the household that Isaac would pass on to him, should have gone to him. But in a strange turn of events in today's story, we're going to see that Esau trades that blessing for something else. Let's go to our story and find out more. The birthright, from the book of Genesis, chapter 25, verses 29 through 34. Esau and Jacob continued to grow up. One day, Esau returned home from hunting. Jacob was making lentil stew, and Esau was very hungry. Can I have some lentil stew and some bread, Jacob? Esau asked. Sure, if you trade me your birthright for some stew, Jacob said. Esau thought about this. His birthright made him the leader of their family when they became grown-ups. That was several years away, though. He was hungry now. Did he really need to be the leader and get all the family's treasures? Or did he need to eat? You can have my birthright, said Esau. One bowl of stew coming right up, said Jacob. I wonder, do you think that Esau should have agreed to Jacob's deal? Sometimes it's really hard to make good choices in the moment. That's why it's important every day to be in prayer to God. Ask God to guide the choices and the decisions that you make. God is faithful to provide direction that honors God and leads us on the path that God has set for each of us. And where God promises to provide, God always does. Will you repeat a prayer after me? Dear God, thank you for loving me. Thank you for the many blessings you give. Help me make good choices that honor you every day. We love you, amen. Until next week, friends, keep celebrating, keep wondering, and keep trusting God and seeking God's direction for the choices in your life.